Hello. We are discussing about gate 1995 EC paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is first two mark question. Came in gate 1995. Look at the diagram. A transistor having alpha is equal to 0.99 and VBE as 0.7 volts in the circuit shown. Then the value of collector current will be. We need to calculate collector current for this problem. No options were given for this question. We need to calculate directly IC value. So we will see the details now. We are assuming that the transistor is operating in saturation. In saturation region, collector current doesn't depend on the base current. By that time we will assume that one simply IC and IB are going to be two independent variables. Okay. Only in active region IC depends on IB. IC is equal to beta IB that can be used only whenever the transistor is in active region. Since we are assuming transistor is in act saturation region, we cannot use that relation. So here what we are saying is nothing but IC and IB are independent. But we know something that is we can use some standard values whenever the transistor is in saturation or active region. These are typical NPN transistor junction voltages. Typical NPN transistor junction voltages at room temperature. If the temperature is not specified in the problem, we can always assume room temperature. So at room temperature for silicon and germanium, VCE saturation, VBE saturation, VBE active, VBE cut-in, VBE cut-off. So the values of this one, NPN transistor for silicon and germanium, these are the values. Since the transistor is in saturation region, we can go for the VBE saturation and VCE saturation. These are the two values we can use. VCE saturation is 0.2 volts, VBE saturation is 0.8 volts. So, now, before using these two values, first of all we must identify those things VBE and VCE. So, this is what the given diagram and we must identify the terminals, terminal currents and terminal voltages. Three terminals of the transistor arrow always implies emitter and opposite of arrow is collector and this side is nothing but base terminal currents are nothing but current flowing through those terminals current entering into base is IB current entering into emitter is IE IE is nothing but IB plus IC current flowing through collector is IC so this is IC and it is IB the sum of these two currents will flow through emitter that is IB plus IC and the current flowing through this resistor is sum of IC plus IB now we have identified the currents and we must also identify the voltages there will be a voltage between base emitter and there will be a voltage between collector and emitter as well as collector to base so this voltage is VBE and this voltage is VCE so First, apply KVL across collector emitter loop for the question. And whenever you are writing the collector emitter loop, don't use IC is equal to beta IB. IC and IB are independent terms. Simply don't manipulate IC and IB. Keep them like that only. So you will get one equation in terms of IC and IB. But you can use the value of VCE saturation, which is nothing but 0.2 volts next apply second step apply kvl across base emitter loop which results in second equation in that also don't modify ic and ib simply keep them as it is and where you can use one value is nothing but vbe saturation that is 0.8 volts that you can use so you are getting two equations two unknown parameters ic and ib and using those two equations calculate ic and ib values the actual value for the given question is IC. We will see how to solve this one.
first step so before going for the first step simply we are calculating beta value but it is not necessary right now since given alpha is equal to 0.99 we can calculate beta the relation is beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha which is 1 by 1 minus 0.99 that is equal to 100 first we will apply the kv electros base emitter loop kv electros base emitter loop is nothing but we are starting from this plus 12 and going through in this manner this is and we are going to get this ground so from plus 12 first voltage drop first voltage second voltage drop third voltage drop fourth voltage across base emitter fifth one is nothing but across one kilo ohm sixth is nothing but ground so total five elements you must get in the kvl so plus 12 minus one kilo ohm into ib plus ic minus 10 kilo ohms into ib minus vbe saturation minus one kilo ohm into ib plus ic this k we have neglected while writing this one here VBE is VBE saturation since we are assuming the transistor is in saturation. In saturation VBE value is 0.8 for NPN. So 12 minus 0.8 that will be treated as 11.2. So this equation simplifies to 2 times of IC plus 12 IB is equal to 11.2. So one equation in terms of IC and IB by applying KV across base emitter loop. Next. KVL across collector emitter loop. <coughs> KVL across collector emitter loop is nothing but again we are starting from plus 12 and we are now moving towards collector and emitter. Now the KVL should go through collector as well as emitter terminal towards ground. So this forms a KVL loop. So here we will write plus 12 minus 1 kilo ohm into IV plus IC minus 1 kilo ohm into IC minus VCE saturation minus 1 kilo ohm into IB plus IC here again K is neglected 12 minus 1 times of IC plus IB minus 1 time of IC minus VCE this is VCE saturation minus 1 time of IB plus IC VCE saturation is 0.2 volts so 12 minus 0.2 that will be resulting in 11.8 and the simplification simplified equation is 3 times of IC plus 2 times of IB so this is second equation in terms of IC and IB we have two equations two unknowns so simply calculate IC and IB from these two equations 6 into equation 2 minus equation 1 so multiply equation 2 with 6 and subtract equation 1 from that one so 18 IC plus 12 IB plus 70.8 minus this equation so 2 IC plus 12 IB is equal to 11.2 then you are getting it as 16 IC is equal to 59.6 IC will be treated as 3.725 milliamperes and use this IC value in one of these equations to calculate IB then you will get the IB value as 0.3125 0.3125 you will get next <coughs> so IC and IB values are going to be calculated in this way the required answer is nothing but IC you can check you can cross check whether the transistor is in saturation region or not the cross check for the cr transistor to be in saturation region is IB must be greater than IC saturation by beta IB must be greater than or equal to IC saturation by beta IC saturation is nothing but this IC value because we have used VC as VC saturation whenever we are using VC as VC saturation how much you will get collector current that will be treated as saturation collector current IC saturation so 3.725 divided by beta value already we have seen that is 100 so that will be equal to 0 0.037 which is lesser than 0 0.31 so the transistor is indeed in saturation region and the correct answer is IC is equal to 3.725 milliamperes 
you can also solve this problem by assuming the transistor is in active region same problem you can go for the transistor is assuming in active region in active region IC and IB as related as IC is equal to beta times of IB so you can use this relation step 1 apply KV electros base emitter loop as previous replace IB with IC by beta so in that equation wherever you are getting IB that can be replaced now with IC by beta and VB active given as 0.7 volts if it is not given also you can use this value because it is a typical value and from that KVL across base emitter loop calculate the value of IC one unknown parameter one equation that IC value is found to be 5.33 milliamperes but this is not the right answer why if you assume the transistor is in active region we must check after calculating the IC value whether the transistor is in operating in active or not so we must cross check for the active region cross checking for active region is nothing but VCE VCE must be greater than 0.2 volts so that we can ensure the transistor is in saturation uh, in active region if it is less than or equal to 0.2 volts by that time transistor will be in saturation region so apply KVL across collector emitter loop as previous apply KVL across collector emitter loop use the value of IC and beta is equal to 100 so IB can be written as IC by beta and beta value is known IC value is 5.33 milliamperes calculate VCE if you calculate VCE that VCE has to be greater than 0.2 volts but for this 5.33 milliamperes of IC you will get VCE as negative negative value implies nothing but the transistor is not in active region it will be in saturation region so the transistor is not in active region it is in saturation region the assumption taken is wrong so we must change our assumption now the transistor is assumed to be in saturation and we must proceed as previous so the correct answer for this one is nothing but IC is 3.725 milliamperes Thank you.